Hey hi this is Nikhil your marketing tipster and welcome to another session on Google Analytics 4 In this session we are going to look at one of the most important updates of Google Analytics 4 which is event measurement As you are already aware with Google Analytics 4 event measurement has changed drastically and improved drastically but at the same time if you are still stuck with the way events were defined in Universal Analytics In GA4 it can get quite confusing. So let's understand how events reporting works in Google Analytics 4. Here is an example of an event that I have on my own website. I use this event to capture Now here is an example of an event that I have on my own website. I use this event to capture the lead details whenever someone books an appointment for consulting with me so the details that i need for determining the quality of the booking is what product they have booked me for so it can be google analytics facebook ads or google ads how much time they have booked me for it can be 30 or 60 minutes what is their booking id i need this booking id so i can dig more details into their bookings from my backend so booking id and fourth which i would like to track is a coupon so i have some of the coupons floating around and someone applies that they get discounts on my consulting fees so coupon is the fourth parameter that i would like to track in universal analytics i could not track four parameters i could only track three parameters which for example i did product name as gafb or google ads in the action i sent uh, booking id and in the label i sent the slot booking either 30 or 60 minutes so this is the difference that with ga4 i could send fourth parameter as well and if i want i can send several more in fact up to 25 parameters now although in universal analytics you could send only three parameters it was kind of rigid but the reporting was considerably simpler you could just navigate to top events and here you can just browse by category action or label of those events it was as simple as that when it comes to ga4 if you navigate to events here is the event we are talking about appointment booking you click on that and inside that you will see parameters which are captured for the event booking id product time booked etc but those are parameters which are tracked in last 30 minutes <clears throat> if you see event details here you will not find anywhere what are the parameters which are tracked if you want to report it for longer term than the last 30 minutes Now just to get over this problem what i decided to try is i went to analytics hub and decided to create a custom report for all these parameters uh, as you can see i have created already a custom report with booked product and event name booked product and event name with active users as metric now if i want to add another metric to now if i want to add another dimension to it let's say booking id you can't find it there is no dimension called booking id or no parameter called booking id in the dimensions list now how do you report that if it's not there in the dimensions list at all this is where google analytics 4 is different and this is where it's important to unlearn universal analytics before you learn google analytics 4 so sending events in key value parameter is not enough on top of that there is one more step that you have to do to make sure that you are able to report those dimensions in the custom reporting you need to navigate to custom definitions and create a dimension as i as you can see i have already created two dimensions booked product and booked time and that is why in my analytics hub report i could add booked product as one of the dimensions here we go i just removed it and i can add as a dimension booked product here we go apply 
and from the dimension list I can add book product to the rows as you can see book product Facebook ads Google Analytics consulting or Google Ads consulting are three products that I am passing or other these are four products that I am passing in my booking form that is being captured in the event but it wasn't showing up in the report until I went ahead and created a custom dimension for it. I have also created another dimension called book time but it's not showing up in the report yet because it takes few hours to populate it after you have created it. For example, there is third dimension that we are also sending in event parameters is booking ID. So you can create that booking ID is name of the dimension. You can keep it whatever you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be the parameter uh, key of the event. In the description, you can write booking ID of lead. And in the parameter, you have to select exactly the parameter that you are sending in the event as key which in case in this case is booking id i selected this named it i have scoped it at event level because this specific dimension is only for that specific event and doesn't apply to the user itself save it here we go booking id is here but you'll still not have it in your analytics hub custom reporting as of now as you can see here we have created a dimension called booking id nope it's not here you'll have to wait few hours uh, google says it takes 24 hours but in my experience i have seen it showing up in 10 to 12 hours as well so wait few hours and then you can get that dimension in your custom report as well so just to recap, to make sure that you are reporting your events properly in Google Analytics 4, there are three steps that you have to do. First is you have to trigger your event from your code and you can send up to 25 key value pairs along with each event. Second is make sure that you create a custom dimension for all the keys that you are sending along with your event. And you can do that in the Google Analytics 4 interface in the custom definitions menu. And third is once you have created all those custom dimensions, wait for a few hours and create a custom report using Analytics Hub. Hope you found that interesting and if you are looking for more knowledge around Google AdWords, Facebook Ads, Google Analytics or anything to do with MarTech, Please do comment and let me know what exactly you want to learn about and I'll get right on to it.